Hey, Mark King here, and this is a uh, this is an interesting story. These these should be the important things. Right? These should be the the headlines, you know. Not the orange man bad stuff. Not the fake victimization. This stuff. So this is an article by the New York Post. It's by Ben Cost. It goes into some t statistics, right? But as we see here, America ranked worst countries to raise a family, study says. Okay. So all I did is look at the stats. I didn't see the studies yet, but just, just read a little bit. We get an F for family. In case you thought America was a, wasn't experiencing enough turmoil, as of late, the U.S. has been named the second worst wealthy nation to raise a family in 2020, According to new research by travel site Astro Lyric. Before I continue, this is how you actually write a really good article. This opening basically says everything you need to know, right? The most important bits of information. Okay, it's how you hook the reader. The first time, quote unquote, I looked at the data, I was in disbelief, said co founder Lyric Benson Ferguson of the findings in the Raising a Family Index. The LA-based mother of two stated this that this site started the site with her Aussie husband Asha Ferguson to help people stay safe, healthy, and happy at home and while traveling per the website's description. To determine the most and least family-friendly countries, the couple rated 35 OECD countries part of an organization of economic cooperation and development according to safety, happiness, and cost. Okay, let's just take a quick look. Before I continue, it's a really uh, brief article, but let's get to the um, so I I mean okay so here's the thing right we all know the truth about these things right we human beings we have the ability for pa okay one thing that is scary I I find kids in these urban communities they struggle. With pattern recognition, pattern recognition is one of the first things that um, children start to recognize as a sign of intelligence. Pattern recognition, okay. So let's take a look at the. Um, this is just basically a summary of all the data that they collected. I'll post the link, but safety index, happiness index, and now I don't know exactly how they compiled it. It's probably a survey. Cost index, health index, education index, time index. Okay. So, what do you notice about these first four, five, six, seven, ten, eleven, let's say twelve, thirteen, fourteen, six. Okay, uh, up to like, up to like even even eighteen, right? What do you? Well, nineteen, twenty. Okay, okay. Uh, up to like 23 right what what I mean what do we all notice about this pattern here all right we, we all know what it is okay we all know I do not look like these people but I would I would give a right a right arm to to live in these nations peaceful nation this would matters this should be the most important thing this happiness, safety, index, the cost, yeah, that's hard work, health, yeah. These should be the important things, you know. And as an American, it saddens me, like, look, we're so low in the ranking. But as we know, the communists in America, they're proud of America being so low. They want to see America suffer. Okay? Again, they don't know, they, they don't understand until they actually get communism, what it's really like. Okay, this is this happens in the liberal education system. What these countries have in common, we all know <laughs> the, the 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 how do I say this? The color, but they also have a strong family unit. Almost all of them are are majority Christian nations. Okay, with a strong family structure. Okay, that's what all these again. The problem with the United States is the family structure. 
is the feminist. Okay, but again, the feminist is just a just just a tool of the communists. Okay, none of these countries suffer from identity politics. Okay, obviously th these uh, countries right here are being invaded with feminism. It's only a matter of time. Okay, I believe these three countries, even Germany, because of uh, Angela Merkel. Okay, the, the they're all being so right now it looks pretty here, but. It's the beginning. Same thing how America was infected with the um, the feminists back in the 60s. Same thing is going to happen to these nations. Just watch, okay? But anyway, this is very important. I, I, I won't get too much into the stats. It gets even broken down. The best countries here, Iceland, New Zealand, Denmark, the worst countries. <laughs> There's something they have in common here. Hmm. Hmm. I, 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 I won't say this here, but... But this, the people here, really affect the people here, if you get my drift. Okay? Greece is the one outlier, okay? But Greece is also um, suffering from, how do I say this, uh, illegals, okay? Okay? The I'm just going to leave that here. You can check out the stats, out, but let's just finish off the article. Um, excel out. Okay, the U.S. clocked in an abysmal 34th place as American. I hate hearing that. I want America to be the best. Just ahead of last place finisher, these wonderful, uh, the wonderful people of Mexico. Drug cartels have run amok during the virus lockdown, leading to pack of overall fam safe nations. We were Iceland family safe nations. Were Iceland? So we have obviously. No, again, th this, this, the one problem with this article, sure, they don't draw the conclusion, but they have to give the, the, um, the new, the, the crumbs for people to, to draw their conclusions. The study noted that U.S. is the only country that doesn't require employers to offer maternity leave. Even worse, the average household blows 31, 32 percent of the income on childcare compared to 4 to 10 percent. Again, High tax rates. This is they actually have high taxes. Okay. They also don't have the innovation in the United States. Okay. Okay, but we all know why. When you have a nation that has a single focus, okay, nation with a single focus, America, we, we, we're too obsessed with identity. Okay, again, these are these are seeds that were planted in the 60s and 70s by the communists. I'll keep saying it. Okay. Uh, the only good communist is a blank communist. You fill in that blank, okay? Alright. I honestly would like to see the communists get their um, teeth kicked in, okay? Because they don't understand communism, okay? Those little those little w white left. They don't understand communism because they've been the product of the awful school system. Okay, what pisses me off when I teach is there are certain fine female teachers. They're not interested. The young ones aren't interested in teaching. What they're interested in vacations. All I all they talk about is vacations or getting married <laughs> to their boyfriends. <laughs> Despite statistics showing that reported crimes have been on decline nationwide, U.S. homicide rate is still eclipsed only by Mexico. Per research, America reported tops the list of school shootings with a whopping 288 incidents. Again, you can trace these things back to the decline of the family unit, okay? The land they're free also came in fourth verse for human rights. Okay, I call this bullish. I call this BS, okay? All right. So I wish I wish to know how to compile the data. Anyway, um, U.S. nationwide income disparity is twenty percent. Blah blah blah. Okay. All right. That's it. So this should be the most important headline on every new station. But instead, it's it's probably Orange Man bad. I, I don't watch the news. Okay, I try my best to get the gist from other places. But this should be the number one story here, in my opinion, okay? People should care about these things the most. 
not celebrity culture, not not sports, not identity politics, happiness, family. Okay? Share, share, subscribe, thumbs up, hope you enjoy. Remember, uh, don't vote left. <laughs> okay? Don't vote for communists. Bye.